it's important, I think, to have a diversity of thought on these passages. Yeah, and that's, I mean, one of the interesting things is among, uh, among evangelicals, and by, I'm using the word in the broadest sense, and particularly I'm talking about American evangelicals, uh, they're familiar with the, the conversation that has been initiated by complementarians, uh, but they're not necessarily so familiar um, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually have been somewhat surprised in some of the conversations I've had uh, when I keep hearing things that were being, you know, 20, 30 years ago, the same things being repeated over and over again. And it's like, have you not read, you know, current commentaries on First Corinthians? Um, or do you know the names of Ben Witherington or Anthony Thistleton or um, a guy named Philip Payne, who has written a wonderful book on Paul? Um, and there is a kind of just an, an unawareness uh, that these issues have been addressed, I think. How do you approach this? Because this could be very complicated when chatting with friends or colleagues that differ from you on this. And they're looking at you going, how could you have that viewpoint? Don't you haven't you read, for, you know, First Timothy? Haven't you looked at Corinthians? How could you even move to that that stance? Yeah, uh, well, I, I teach at a seminary in a denomination. Uh, where women are ordained, uh, although there are um, sizable, there are movements, groups within the denomination that do not ordain women. Uh, in the ACNA, the American Church, uh, Anglican Church of North America, there are some dioceses that do not ordain women. Uh, what I, we have to do primarily as faculty um, is to engage the conversation with the students. Um, in the church that I attended uh, and still attend for a, a while, the priest uh, did not himself believe in the ordination of women. One of the things I found is helpful is just to sort of have the discussion, find out what the issues are, point things out. Uh, but these personal conversations are often some of the most difficult because, um, uh, yeah, people get excited. Uh, their emotions get raised. Uh, the worst place to have the conversations I found is actually uh, in places like Facebook Social media is uh, notorious for people immediately diving to the bottom and you know, um, sort of embracing the lowest possible level of discourse. Uh, but I, I am spoiled in that I do, you know, being a professor in a seminary, the conversation tends to take place on an academic level. And even when people disagree, we respect one another and we can have the conversation and say, well, yes, OK, but have you considered this? And so it's. Um, it's, I think it's more difficult if you're in a denomination um, that historically doesn't ordain women. So, for example, the church that I uh, was raised in or among, um, half of my book does address the evangelical argument. And there are a lot of folks in those denominations that are having to address this. And it's uh, more difficult for uh, some of them, I think. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Dogato podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.